And tonight, Indonesia has arrested nearly 200 people over vast forest fires that have been burning for weeks. The fires have unleashed toxic haze across the region, blanketing other countries like Singapore as well as Malaysia, where at least five places registered very unhealthy air quality today. One place was Malaysia's administrative capital. The country's air pollution index showed readings in Putrajaya hitting 203 at 9 in the morning. Now, anything above 200 is considered very unhealthy. Three other areas in Sarawak and a district in Selangor also reported very unhealthy readings at that time. The city of Kuching had its worst with a reading of 248. But Malaysia has been trying to improve the situation. It carried out cloud seeding this afternoon to induce rain and improve the air quality. Operations focused on the states of Selangor and Johor, which have recorded high readings of air pollutants. But local officials say cloud seeding is only a temporary measure. And they say it's critical to address the source of the haze problem. And much of the regional haze has been, has been attributed to Indonesia. And the number of hotspots has gone down slightly, but there are still nearly 2,200 fires. Air quality in and around those areas remains very poor. And Saifu Bari Ismail joins us now for the latest. Saifu, what's Indonesia been doing to actually resolve this haze issue? Well, Glenda, Indonesian authorities are intensifying cloud seeding operations to, to try and induce rain in an effort to extinguish the stubborn intense fires. Now, so far, 164 tons of salt have been dropped. Uh, three aircraft are currently in Pekanbaru, the provincial capital of Riau, for cloud seeding operations. The military have deployed two of their aircraft to Pekanbaru with a higher carrying cloud seeding capacity. The latest military asset to join the fire fighting efforts is a Hercules aircraft delivered today, able to carry five tons of salt. However, cloud seeding is quite a tricky operation. Uh, this is because it can only be done if there's enough cloud over the hot spots for the salt uh, to induce rain. Now, having said that, authorities have managed to induce rain in some areas across the province last Friday, allowing the air quality in the provincial capital of Pekanbaru to improve temporarily and there's a rain forecast to fall in the province over the next a few days as well. So there has been some respite. Uh, residents in haze affected areas have also sought divine intervention, conducting prayers to ask for rain and it seems that prayers have been answered. Indonesia has also stepped up law enforcement. As you mentioned, police have arrested nearly 200 people suspected of uh, causing the fires. Companies have also not been spared. Authorities have sealed off 42 companies as hotspots uh, had been detected in their concession areas, uh, spanning a total of almost uh, 6,000 hectares. Uh, sealing off means the plantations cannot operate while an investigation is carried out by the authorities. Uh, three Malaysian-based companies and one Singaporean-based company are among those who, have, uh, who are sealed off. So, if we're given the actions taken and the resources deployed, why have the forest fires proven so hard uh, to extinguish? Well, Steve, in addition to the cloud seeding operations, uh, there are also helicopters doing water bombing uh, sorties. Now, these choppers are having a hard time uh, dousing the fires as uh, dropping water bombs would not be enough to cover the vast area of land affected. Attempts to douse the fires had become even more difficult as at least a quarter of the burnt land is peatland. Now, peat fires are hard to put out because they can keep burning underground for weeks. And uh, peat fires also produce thick, acrid haze. Now, on top of all this, Indonesia also faces challenges uh, which is more political in nature. Recently, the National Disaster Mitigation Agency said, based on reports on the ground, local officials are quite indifferent and does not show concern about the haze that's burning in their region. For example, there have been complaints that these local officials do not even attend meetings in relation to the forest uh, fires and haze. Now, the Environment and Forestry Minister Siti Nurbaya Baka said she believes this is because these local officials are new. Uh, they have just entered office and did not understand fully their responsibilities. Now, in April, Indonesia has just completed its legislative elections and these local officials are in a leadership transition. 
Uh, green activists have also said there's a lot of corruption taking place at the local level. Corruption at the local government level often results in authorities uh, turning a blind eye uh, to fires started on land leased by big plantation companies. Many thanks for that. Safwari Ismail giving us an update from Jakarta.